Hello, hello and welcome. Um, this tutorial is to show you how to uninstall CocoaPods, do a clean install of CocoaPods, and to hopefully install the pod of your choosing. In this tutorial, we are going to be using Alamo Fire. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering why I'm making this video. It's pretty much because I was stumped for hours on end why my pod wouldn't install, why I was having issues, why it wouldn't recognize anything. And it was because my CocoaPods directory was corrupted. So once I did a master on installation and clean install of CocoaPods, I had no issue. So we're going to get straight into it of how to get you guys back up and running. So you guys need to open up a terminal. And you need to, first off, you need to see what installs you have installed onto your CocoaPods. Um, we're going to do the uninstall first, then the install. So what to, you want to do is you want to type in the command gem list local. It should be dash dash local. It is missing the double dash. So it should be gem list dash dash local. Dash dash local. Vertical bar with spaces in between grep and cocoa pods. And at that point you'll be able to see what's installed. Now what you want to do is uninstall this. The majority of what you guys are going to do is you're just going to think, oh, okay, gem uninstall Cocoa Pods. Yay. And it's going to say you want to do that, and you're going to say yes, of course. And it's going to say you don't have permission to do that because you don't have write permissions. You guys are going to be confused and wonder why. Why don't I have write permissions? I'm the administrator. Well, it's because you're not using the sudo command, which was one of my main issues when I was doing this. So we're going to show our list again. Uh, this time we are going to do gem, sorry, gem list dash dash local vertical bar grep cocoa pods. Coco pods. And you guys will see your installs. Now you want to do sudo gem uninstall cocoa pods. It's going to ask for your password because you are the administrator. You're entering that in. It's going to ask you, remove executables, pod, sandbox pod. You're going to sway, say yes <clears throat> with a Y. And it'll say, congrats, successfully uninstalled Cocoa Pods. And you're going to be like, great, I'm good to go. Unfortunately, no, you're not. You're going to have to uninstall every single file. So you're going to then do the same thing you did before, sudo gem uninstall. <coughs> Pardon me. Install. CocoaPods dash core. To make your lives easier, I would suggest just copying this section just so that when you're doing this, it can go by a lot quicker. It'll say successfully uninstalled, and then you do the integrate. And it'll say you did that, and then you're going to do downloader. And then you're going to do plugins. As you guys can see, it's very quick if you copy and paste the majority of the command. Uh, search, I uh, just did search, sorry, stats, trunk, try. Now, it says you've uninstalled all these. Now, how will you know that you got them all away? Like, they're all gone. That's, again, quite simple. You're going to do, you're going to do gem, list. Dash dash local, vertical bar, grep, cocoa pods. It's going to return nothing. And that's how you'll know you did it correctly. So now at this point, you need to install cocoa pods. So it's again sudo gem install cocoa pods. And what it's going to do is it's going to hang here for a minute. It's just hanging out, it's chilling. In the background right now, what it's doing is it's pulling down the data from the internet. So it's pulling all the files that it needs for CocoaPods to be able to run on this computer. It'll hang for about a minute or so. Actually, much less uh, for me because apparently it went very quick. <coughs> Pardon me. I am getting over a little bit of a cold here, so I apologize for my coughing intermittently. All right. It'll say now nine gems are installed. That's fantastic. Now, 
what do you have to do once your gems are installed? You want to check to see that the gems are there. So again, we're going to go to our favorite command, sudo um, gem list, I think it is, dash dash local. I may be wrong, but I can't remember. Uh, grep cookpods. It's the same command that we've been using. So as you can see, I was correct on that command. It says, okay, I'm all here now. Great, so proud of you, welcome back. So now you need to do sudo gem, uh, sorry, not sudo gem, uh, your command, I'm gonna reference my notes. Uh, it's gonna be sudo uh, pod setup, sorry, pardon me. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna do, you can do either sudo pod setup or you can just do pod setup. I'm just going to sudo it just in case. And so, as you can see, it'll say you cannot run CocoaPods as root. So, sudo is a root command. It's pretty much administrator. You can't run that command as sudo. So, you can only do pod setup. So, don't try using sudo. You'll just get that error. So, you'll turn on pod setup. And right now, it'll say setting up CocoaPods master repo. This is where a lot of things go wrong, where it'll just hang and hang and hang and hang. Luckily, it's not doing that to us. It's pulling down from the internet. It's working great. There are no issues right now. So it's pulling down the master repo. You only have to do that once. Now, we know that it's successfully set up when it says setup complete. Now, what you have to do is you now have to initialize a pod. So you have to create a pod file. To do that, you need an Xcode project. To do that, you have a beautiful software called Xcode. We're going to create a quick project just to show you how this works to install a pod. So I'm just gonna quickly create a single view application. And it doesn't really matter. Uh, Swift, iPhone. That's what I'm doing. I'm not actually using this project. <coughs> Pardon me. Once you have that set up, you'll know it's all good to go because it'll launch. Now you need to show where your directory is. Right now, I'm on the desktop. Well, I'm actually in my Joseph Pence folder. So I need to go to the directory of where my project lives. My project lives in my projects and it's under tutorial. I know it's in here. So I am going to CD into desktop slash Xcode slash projects slash tutorial. And now if I type LS, I can see that I'm within that folder. Now what I need to do is I need to do what's called pod init. P-O-D-I-N-I-T. It'll do it and then it'll show up again waiting for my next command. You're probably like, well, what did that do? I'll show you guys what that just did. What that just did is that created a pod file right here. What do you do with a pod file? Well, you put your pods in it. And for this pod, we are gonna be using Alamo Fire. So I'm just going to copy and paste a quick uh, source source code here. Pretty much it's saying to the pod file, this is where my specs live for CocoaPods. This is the platform I'm using. Use the frameworks of CocoaPods. My target is, and you would change this to whatever your project is, which mine is called tutorial. And it's going to do a do command, pod alamo fire a version 4.0 and then end. You then want to just save that file. I use Sublime Text. Uh, this is a free utility to be able to edit your pod files. I think it's quite nice. Um, you guys can just Google that as well. Now your pod file is there and it has that data. Now what you need to do is install Zipod, the pod. Yes, yes, yes. So pod install. Now going to look, analyzing dependency, download the dependency, installing Alamo Fire, generating the pods, integrating client project. Now it'll say please close any Xcode sessions and use tutorial XC workspace for the project from now on, sending stats, 
pod install complete, there's dependency in one total installed. That is it, guys. That is how you successfully uninstall CocoaPods, reinstall it, and install your pod of choice. As you can see now, I have a pod file, pod file lock, and tutorial XC workspace. And if I open that up, I will be able to see all of my pods that are here, my frameworks that are here, my pods, my Alamo Fire pods, all of my serial swifts, all of my codes, amazing, amazing stuff. And now I know that that is 120% successful. I hope this uh, helped you guys, and I wish you luck in the world of CocoaPods and coding.